this job. Okay, question 10. The cubic equation, x cubed minus 4x plus 3 is 0, has roots alpha, beta, gamma. Use the substitution x equals root u to obtain a correct, correct, to obtain a cubic equation in u. Um, this, this was generally pretty well done, except there's a crucial mistake that people make in these things. Um, it, it does feel generous, but there you go, there's one mark for doing that. <laughs> Yeah, use the given substitution correctly, one mark. So what we're going to do with this now, well, um, hopefully we know that root u cubed, that's root u, <coughs> root u times root u, so that's u root u, plus 4 root u, plus 3 is 0. Now, the aim here is we need to, to square this to get rid of the root u, and to do that, well, we could just square everything, but actually it works better, doesn't it, if we isolate the root u bits square them, and then have the other bits happening. So what have we got? We've got root u times u plus 4 is minus 3. That's what we want to get to from our equation before we square it. <coughs> now we're going to square both sides. If we square both sides, that means square absolutely everything. So we're squaring the left-hand side. That gives us u times u plus 4 squared. Square the right hand side, that gives us minus 3 squared. So we've got u times u squared plus 8u, sorry, oh, I'll change that a little bit. Plus 16 is 9, because minus 3 squared gives us 9. At which point we're going to multiply out this bracket. bring the 9 back over, and there is our cubic equation in U that we were looking for. Okay? <coughs> and it's quite important, because actually it's going to be crucial in what we do in the next bit. Because what we've, what we've got to recognise now is that if x equals root U, then the, the roots of this equation here, U is x squared, so the roots of this are alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. That's important, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just I'm just kind of flagging that up to see how we might use it. And the question now says, use or find the value of alpha to the four plus beta to the four plus gamma to the four plus alpha beta gamma. So we're going to think, how, how are we going to come up with that expression there? Well, we maybe know this bit about, we've, we've done stuff with finding alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared before from alpha, beta, gamma stuff. That it's, it's all about uh, multiplying out brackets, isn't it? It's all about thinking, what's going to happen, I'm going to work this out, if we do alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, and we square that. Let's consider what that gives us. Because that will that will lead us to some of these terms that we're wanting. If we multiply that out, how, how do we want to do this? Do, it, do I we'll write out as much detail as we can so we can see where we're going? <coughs> so, really careful with this. We're going to have an alpha squared times alpha squared to alpha to the four. An alpha squared beta squared, an alpha squared gamma squared, a beta squared alpha squared, beta squared beta squared, beta to the 4, beta squared gamma squared, and then we're going to have an alpha, uh, gamma squared alpha squared plus gamma squared beta squared plus gamma to the 4 which is alpha to the 4 plus beta to the 4 plus gamma to the 4 plus, and look what we've got, alpha squared beta squared is appearing twice. Gamma squared alpha squared is appearing twice, and gamma squared beta squared, there it is, twice. Twice, alpha squared beta squared 
plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared. Okay. Now, the question that we're dealing with here is wanting us to find an expression for alpha to the 4 plus beta to the 4 plus gamma to the 4. We've got the other bit, we'll work out that in a minute. So, alpha to the 4 plus beta to the 4 plus gamma to the 4 equals alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared squared minus twice alpha squared beta squared plus beta squared gamma squared plus gamma squared alpha squared. Right, that was all very nice. But it's about time we actually wrote down what some of this stuff is. So, um, this one has roots alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. So, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to, that's the first one, isn't it? And it's always the first one is the negative. So that is minus 8 over 1. So that equals minus 8. Alpha squared, beta squared, plus beta squared, gamma squared, plus gamma squared, alpha squared. That's our next one along. So that is 16 over 1, plus 16 over 1. So that bit is equal to 16. And I can get the last little bit that I need in one of two ways. I'm also going to need, for this expression, alpha, beta, gamma. Now, alpha, beta, gamma is all either uh, the square root of alpha squared, beta squared, gamma squared. So I can either do it as being minus, minus 9 square rooted, which is 3. Or I can go back up here and say if this has roots alpha, beta, gamma, then... Um, then I've got this one. Um, now it would be that this one would be negative, wouldn't it? Okay, so it's the negative that one. And remember, if I'm square rooting that one, I need to think about whether it's the plus or minus the square root. Anyway, I've got to come up with that as being minus 3. I'm ready to throw all of this together then. So, having found those three, alpha to the 4 plus beta to the 4 plus gamma to the 4 is... Minus 8 squared, minus twice 16. Oh, hang on, I, I've missed a term out, haven't I? I need to have plus alpha, beta, gamma. So plus minus 3. And altogether, what have I got there? 64, take away 32, take away 3, gives me 29. As a not particularly satisfying final answer, but final answer it is. And there we go. And that's maths.